Now friends, let's move towards the Raoul's law. What is Raoul's law or what are the, and what is the relation between Raoul's law and solution? Okay, the Raoul's is a the Raoul's is a French chemist. The French scientist Raoul in 1887 gave some observations related to solution and his observation was the vapor pressure of solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of that solvent. You see here, vapor pressure of the solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solvent. Okay, that is if we have a mixture of different component in which one of the component act as a solute and another component act as a solvent. Now, if the solvent is in volatile form, then and then only Raoul's observations will obey for that solution. Means solvent should be in volatile form. So, the, what are the observations of Raoul's? Vapor pressure of the solution. Vapor pressure of the solution. That is, vapor pressure of mixture of solute and solvent. Vapor pressure of solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of that volatile component that is hope of that solvent okay mathematically it is represented as see here p solution means vapor pressure of solution is directly proportional to x solvent means mole fraction of the solvent okay this is the relation who was observed Raoul's. this is the relation which is observed by Raoul's. okay that is p is directly proportional to x that is mole fraction and mathematically if we want to remove this proportionality sign we need to take a constant hmm? okay now this const what will be this constant this constant should be related to vapor pressure and this constant should be the vapor pressure of that component which are present in the solution in pure state. so after removing this proportionality sign our relation will be p of solution that is vapor pressure of solution is equal to k into x solvent that is k is the vapor pressure of the sol uh, solvent in pure state okay that is p of solution is equal to p of solvent that is vapor pressure of solvent into mole fraction of the solvent okay these are the observations about solvent okay not solute means both component the, means those component which are present in volatile which are volatile in nature for that component we use we can use Raoul's law and the ra statement of Raoul's law is vapor pressure of the solution is directly proportional to mole fraction of the solvent okay that is p is equal to P of solvent into X of solvent. This is the statement or this is the expression for Raoul's law. Now, this is the graphical representation of Raoul's law. If we plot a graph between vapor pressure and mole fraction, then how is nature of this graph will form? We know that the graph which is a straight line passing through origin, the equation for the graph is y is equal to mx plus c. This is the standard relation for those graphs which are passing through origin or which are having nature straight line. Okay, and if the graph is passed from the origin, the value of intercept is zero and the equation becomes y is equal to mx. Parameter which are uh, expressed on y-axis and x is the parameters which are expressed on x axis and m is the constant and if we observe our Raoul's law that is p is equal to p of solvent into mole fraction this our uh, this equation of Raoul's law will match with the expression for straight line passing through origin so the nature of graph should be passing a straight line passing through origin and the if you plot a graph between vapor pressure and mole fraction of that solvent the nature of graph will like this that is uh, straight line passing through origin vapor pressure increases up to the point vapor pressure of that component in pure state will get now let's see the limitations of Raoul's law what are the limitations of Raoul's law what are the limitations of Raoul's law the first limitation is the Raoul's law is obey only for those components which are volatile in nature that is solvent should be volatile in nature as well as 
solutes should be in non volatile nature and if the solute is in non volatile form then and then we can apply raoult's law for that solution and the second condition is solution should be diluted form that is for the concentrated solution we cannot apply raoult's law that is we cannot say evaporation increases with mole fraction increases for concentration solution okay now let's see what are the ideal solutions and non ideal solutions so for the ideal solution those solution which obeys raoult's law at all conditions of temperature and pressure that solutions are called as a ideal solution okay what are the raoult's law that is vapor pressure increases with mole fraction increases and those solution which obeys this relation that is by mole fraction in by increasing mole fraction vapor pressure of that solution will be increasing so those solution which obeys this types of observation that is raoult's law that type of solutions are known as a ideal solutions okay now the second point is delta h of mixing is zero that is no heat evolved or no heat absorbed during the formation of solution those solution for which delta h is zero that solutions are comes in ideal solution class okay now delta v of mixing delta v of mixing should be zero means no change in volume should be observed during formation of the solution volume should be similar to the volume of summation of volume of solute and solvent that is if we no, don't observe any change in volume of the solution that type of solution is known as a ideal solutions means these two are the basic observation that is delta h is zero and delta v is zero okay now solute solute interactions and solvent solvent interactions is almost similar to the solute solvent interactions means previous interactions means before start before formation of the solution and after interactions after formation of the solution uh, solution both these interactions should be similar in nature okay for example let's see the examples of ideal solutions ethyl chloride ethyl bromide observe the examples ethyl chloride ethyl bromide n hexane n heptane bromoethane chloroethane benzene toluene carbon tetrachloride and silicon tetrachloride means same types of example same types of compounds same or the components we from the same class can form this ideal solution okay are you understand the ideal solutions okay now let's move towards the non ideal solution these solutions deviates from raoult's law at all conditions of temperature and pressure means they do not observe raoult's relation or raoult's observation that type of solutions are known as a raoult's non ideal solution okay and for the non ideal solution delta h is not equal to 0 similarly delta v is also not equal to 0 it may be greater than 0 or may be less than 0 means volume of the solution may be greater or may be smaller similarly change in enthalpy that uh, sorry similarly delta h should may be greater than 0 or less than 0 so for that solutions the solutions are comes in non ideal class okay so, okay like ideal solution solute solute interaction solvent solvent interactions and solute solvent interactions are different in case of non ideal solution okay thus the raoult's law or non ideal solution deviates from raoult's law while ideal solution obeys raoult's law and the examples of non ideal solutions are ethanol cyclohexane carbon acetone carbon disulfide acetone benzene carbon tetrachloride car chloroform means if you take a components from different class of the com compound then these components may form non ideal solutions okay i hope all of you are clear about the ideal and non ideal solutions okay now let's move towards a deviation from raoult's law this see here there are total three cases small positive deviation small negative deviation as well as large positive deviation this is the first class that is negative deviation from raoult's law that is or, or large negative deviation from raoult's law 
means here blue color object is the component a having volume v a the red color object is component b having volume v b after mixing these two component a and b or v a plus v b the expected volume of the solution will be uh, expected volume of the solution is v a plus v b but observe see here the observed volume of the solution is less than v a plus v b and it is a volume of solution that is v solution so the difference between v solution and v a plus v b is the delta v means change in volume or difference between volume of the product and uh, observed product and expected product so in this case delta v is less than 0 similarly delta h is also less than 0 and which type of solution shows these observations those solvent and those sol solute have in will and interact more strongly with each other that type of components form negative type that type of components form solution which deviates from raoult's law with negative direction that is due to strong interaction between solute and solvent particle vapor pressure of that solution is less than observed vapor pressure or expected vapor pressure and that type of solution in which strong interactions are present this shows negative deviation from Raoult's law that is vapor, observed vapor pressure of the solution is less than expected vapor pressure of the solution or less than ideal vapor pressure of the solution and why this vapor pressure uh, why these observations are formed because of stronger interaction between solute and solvent now the case second is positive deviation from Raoult's law that is again see the example Va is the volume of component A Vb is the volume of component B and after mixing these two components the expected volume of the solution is Va plus Vb but here expected volume or but here observed volume is greater than Va plus Vb that is if the solute are not able to form strong interactions with solvent similarly solvents are not able to form strong interactions with solute at that time they repel with each other and thus they the distance between this um, between particles of the solute and solvent will large and the expected and the observed volume of the solution will be larger than expected volume of the solution so in this case number of particles going from solution to vapor state is larger and that case this shows higher vapor pressure than expected vapor pressure or ideal vapor pressure so they shows positive deviations from Raoult's law means if the interaction between solute and solvents are larger they form negative deviation and the interaction between solute and solvents are less they form positive deviation see here yeah? positive deviation of Raoult's law now let's see the summary of Raoult's law or deviation of Raoult's law the first diagram shows standard relation of vapor pressure and mole fraction of the solution that is in case of ideal solution or graphical representation in ideal case graphical representation in non-ideal case with negative deviation and graphical representation of non-ideal case with positive deviation means less interaction between solute and solute. I hope all of you understand for the concept I hope all of you understand the concept of solution how solutions are prepared and what is the Raoult's law and the deviation of that Raoult's law from ideal behavior thank you